Hey Christians, something you should be aware of is uh, if you're interested in biblical archaeology like I am, sometimes you will find secular archaeologists or the unsaved archaeologists who are claiming to be Christians, Catholics and things like that. And what they will do is they will claim that there's no evidence for a character in the Bible or an event in the Bible. And they're lying. They are working for Satan. They're lying. And the archaeologists who are secular have a tendency to do this. And the fake Christian archaeologists have a tendency to do this. So, like, I'll, I'll invent an example because I, I'll just give you an example. Take the character of Daniel, okay? I'm not that familiar with his uh, archaeological evidence. Like, I don't know if there's any evidence for him or not. He's real because the Bible talks about him. So he's a real character. But let's just say you were to talk to an archaeologist who discussed the Bible on some government-run channel on TV or something, and they're going to say, there is no evidence for the Daniel character of the Bible. He is relegated to myth. They're going to say something like that. Well, the thing is, is that if you're going to expect to find evidence of Daniel, you're going to expect to find it under the name Belteshazzar, not Daniel. Daniel was his real name. But his name given by the prince of the eunuchs was Belteshazzar. So, in that area of the world, you would expect that if you're going to find anything, it's going to be under the name Belteshazzar. And what they'll do is, they'll find, let's say they'll find volumes of evidence, or, or even some evidence, of a leader in this part of the world named Belteshazzar, who fits everything, the description of Daniel, and they'll just slide that under the rug and say there is no evidence for Daniel. And, the, and a lot of Christians will be like, oh, no, you know, because they're not thinking about, oh, his name should be Belteshazzar over there. And Christians have a tendency to not know their Bible. They don't even, uh, you ask the average Christian, do you know the name Daniel? Yes. Belteshazzar? Uh, I have no idea who that is. So knowing your own Bible is the most important thing. And then once you know your own Bible, then if you're going to study archaeology, and you gotta be you gotta be clever because they're gonna use tricks to hide the truth. So just keep that in mind. Let's face it, Gestapo tube censors, and so we can't have the kind of conversations we would like to have because they delete comments or hide them. So please go to my description and find the link to my Rumble channel where we can actually talk like we'd like.